The other thing that we're also very excited to launch is the Copilot stack, right? After all, we've built all these Copilots with one common architectural stack. We want to make that available so that everyone here can build their own Copilot for their applications. Uh, we will have everything from the AI infrastructure to the foundation models to the A AI orchestration. So one of the things that we did that greatly affected our ability to get these co-pilots out to market at scale and to do more ambitious things was to decide that inside of Microsoft, we are going to have one orchestration mechanism that we will use to help build our apps. Uh, that is called Semantic Kernel, which we've open sourced. Uh, and there's a session on Semantic Kernel later at Build, which I would encourage you all to attend. Talk coming up later in the day. Developer experience, the power of cloud and artificial intelligence. You know, semantic Kernel to orchestrate all of these things together. Puzzle that fits together. At the same time, though, it's open, open, open. Open source. Open source and extensible. AI orchestration, open source tools like Semantic Kernel. Semantic Kernel. Can I get a show of hands for folks that have looked or downloaded Semantic Kernel, clone the repo? My name is Sam Skilache. I'm one of the uh, deputy CTOs. Back in 2006, I would talk to these reporters and I would say, look, I, I bet you within no more than five years, if I give you a laptop that's not connected, it's going to be considered broken. If you have a business that is not on the internet is considered invisible, which is absolutely what's true today. This is going to happen with AI now. Every service, every device, every application, everything needs to be accessible to AI, or it's going to be considered broken.